So we've got a mutton curry here. It's cooked in some dried whole chilies that we're going to make into a beautiful paste with yogurt or yogurt, whatever you say, or curd. It really, really is delicious. So the first thing you're going to need to do is take 10 dried red chilies and just put them into some warm water. We're going to leave them there for about 10 minutes. So they've been in there about 10 minutes. We're just trying to soften them up 10, 15 minutes like that. Teaspoon of cumin seeds, piece of cinnamon stick, couple of bay leaves, four cloves, two black and four green cardamom pods. Let's get to the cooker. We're going to make a little paste out of this. So I've got a little pan here. I'm going to drop that water in. It's about a cup of water, by the way. We're going to add the cardamoms, the cinnamon and the cumin seeds, the bay and the cloves. So just bring that to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, turn it off. Okay, just reach boiling point, off it goes. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get this into a spice grinder or a coffee grinder and we're going to turn that into a paste. Okay, so you can see that we've got a nice paste there now. That's very, very fiery. So let's take a look at the next step. What we have here is one kg, which is 2.2 pounds of goat meat goat mutton. Now, if you don't want to use goat, you can use lamb. There's a few bones in there, a little bit of fat. That's kind of what we want. There's our beautiful fiery paste that we just made. Here we've got half a cup of what I say is yogurt. Some of you call it yogurt. Some of you call it curd. No matter what you call it, what is important is that you whisk it. You need to whisk it up and get it nice and smooth. Get any lumps out of it. Half a teaspoon of turmeric two teaspoons of cumin powder, two teaspoons of coriander powder, and here is two tablespoons of ginger garlic paste. For this next step, we're only gonna use half of that. So we've got a large mixing bowl there. I've got a glove on because I'm gonna go in with my hand. You can do it with a spoon if you want. What we're gonna do is first add half of our ginger garlic paste, half a teaspoon turmeric, two teaspoons of coriander and cumin. We're now gonna add in our beautiful red chili spiced paste. We're gonna add in half a cup of curd yogurt or yogurt, whatever you call it. And then we're gonna go in and give that a mix. Like I say, you can do this with a spoon if you want. I just like to get in with my hands. Nice little mix. Now, ideally, you want to put this in the fridge for a couple of hours at least. Overnight would be fantastic. We've nearly done it, actually. There's not a lot more to do. So in this pan, I'm melting two tablespoons of ghee. Ghee's pretty essential for this dish. Here, I've got two cups of onions that are finely chopped, cut nice and small. And we wanna go for five or six minutes on a medium heat. Quite important to cook these and get them slightly brown. Beautiful. We're now gonna add the other half of that ginger garlic paste. So one tablespoon went into the meat mixture and one goes in here. We're gonna add salt. I'm gonna give that a little mix. And then we're gonna grab our meat mixture here, drop that in. Let's try and get as much of the masala out of the pan as we can. And we're gonna go stirring away here for about four or five minutes. Okay, next up, we're gonna add some water, like one cup of water. Now, with this type of curry, you can have it really thin or thick, it's up to you. So we're gonna leave it on this 
you know, medium or just above medium actually we're on, for five minutes. Then I'm going to come back and make it really low, like a real simmer. So yeah, just for five minutes, let it do its thing. Then I'm back. Okay, so it's just bubbling up really nicely. We're going to pop the lid on now. We're going to get this on a really super low heat. And we're going to go for about 40 minutes. Give it a stir every now and then. And I presume that in that 40 minutes, we'll give you enough time to subscribe, leave a comment and hit the uh, bell button. See you in 40 minutes. Give it a stir every now and then. Super low now. Okay, let's jump in and take a look, shall we? That's been going for 40 minutes. And that's amazing. I'm really happy with that. Okay, we're going to do one more little trick. Here, I've got some charcoal, just a piece of charcoal, which I'm just grabbing. which I'm going to put in there in a little metal dish. I'm going to drop a little bit of cinnamon on that and a few cloves. And then to that, I'm just going to drop on some ghee and that will smoke as you can see and give it some flavor. So off goes the heat on goes the lid two minutes okay let's take the lid off and check the smoke let's give it a lovely smoky smoky flavor it really has let me get that out and put it to one side what you need to do is check that for salt here I've got some cilantro or coriander chopped just a little bit one more mix. Let's get that on a plate. Well done. Well done, everyone. And there it is. Takes a little while, that one, but it really, really is delicious. So, Buna. We've got a Buna on the go today. A lamb Buna or a lamb curry. Buna, I think it's Urdu for fry. I think it translates to fry. It's quite a dry curry we're making today. Obviously very, very famous in the UK. A lamb or chicken buna is a big thing on a Friday or a Saturday night. This is delicious. Serving this with some japati. Okay, so I've got one onion there, fairly large onion, cut nice and small using a red onion. Four tomatoes. Here's my lamb, I've got a nice cut of leg there. A little bit of fat on it, but there's no bone in there. There's about 500 grams there, or 600 grams maybe. One tablespoon of garlic ginger paste. Red chili I'm using today, use green, no problem. Two teaspoons of fennel seeds, two teaspoons of black mustard seeds, and then the big four here, but let's take a look at it. We've got one teaspoon of turmeric and one teaspoon of cumin, and then two teaspoons coriander, and chili powder. I'm using a Kashmiri chili powder there. So basically, you need twice as much tomato to the onion and to your meat. Let's get to the cooker. There's going to be a few more bits in this, but it's very, very easy. Okay, so I've got some oil in there. I'm using a mustard oil. You could use ghee if you want as well. Let's start off by dropping in the black mustard seeds and the fennel. few seconds in that oil, then we're going to go in with our onion. Now we're going to add our garlic ginger paste. Salt. We're on a high heat as you can see in here. We're going to go for about three or four minutes. Fabulous stuff. Now there's two ways to go now. Next you can put your meat in and fry that around 
or what we're going to do today is we're going to go tomatoes so in they all go we're going to cook our tomatoes first let's drop that chili in and then let's put our spices in let's take another look shall we so i've got one teaspoon of turmeric one of cumin two of chili and two of coriander in that goes there Now what I want to do is I want to cook this now for about six or seven minutes. We really, really want to cook this down. Give it a stir every now and then. We might get some moisture from the tomatoes. Okay, so you can see that our tomatoes and onions are cooking down nicely. They still need to go more. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna drop in our lamb. Now, if you're using a kind of cheaper cut, like a mutton or something, I would have done this the other way around. I would have put the meat in, cooked it a little bit, and then added the tomatoes. Because we've got a nice cut here, it's possible for it to go in right now. Okay, all we're gonna do now, it's very simple, is we're gonna get a lid on this lower the heat to just above a simmer and we're going to let it go for about 20 minutes 25 minutes do not add any water this um masala or curry does not require any water whatsoever we're kind of relying completely on the tomatoes there so nice low heat 20 25 minutes depending on the quality of the lamb that you've got and also how big you've cut it give it a stir every now and then Okay, let's jump in now, just to let you know, I've just turned the heat back up to maximum. Out we come, there's some steam out of there. Now you can see that the tomatoes have really cooked down. Like I said, don't put any water into this one. So we've gone from a nice low heat to a maximum heat just now. We're gonna keep the lid off and we're gonna go for about another five or six minutes, stirring fairly often. We kind of wanna dry this out a little bit. So you can see this is fried out and kind of dried. That's kind of where I like it. So off goes the heat. Nice big pinch of garam masala powder in there, along with some fresh cilantro. Give that a little mix. Beautiful. Check that for salt. It's going to be fine for me. And there we go. I'll see you at the table. And that's it, beautiful. Nice dry fried buna. Serving this with some simple chapati. Try it with parata or with some rice, of course. Lamb on the bone with potato curry. It really, really is good. Takes a little while, but it's delicious. So I've got here one kg or 2.2 pounds of lamb. You can use goat or something like that if you wanted. There's some bone in there, but some lovely, lovely meat. Two decent sized tomatoes, one cup of onions, some curry leaves fresh, if you can get them, absolutely wonderful. If you can't get them, try and get dried, but nothing else really does replace them. They've got a, quite a unique flavor to them. Two teaspoons of cumin seeds, some fresh chili. I've got I don't know, maybe four or five there. I've split them, slit them down the middle, you know, but up to you what you want to put in. A tablespoon of ginger garlic paste and then some spices. Two teaspoons of chili powder. I'm using a Kashmiri chili powder. Half a teaspoon of turmeric and then one each of cumin and coriander. Now we are going to be adding some more things to this, but I want to get the meat on its way because we want to get this super tender. So you're gonna need a large pot or a kind of woki thing like I always use. I'm melting down there some coconut oil. You could use a different oil if you want. And I've got quite a bit in there. There's probably five tablespoons. Use less if you like, but I think it needs it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get our meat and we're gonna drop it in. We're gonna drop in the cumin seeds and the curry leaves. And on a slightly above medium heat, 
we're going to throw this around for about six or seven minutes want to kind of get the meat on its way so we've got a little color on the outside of the meat we're now going to drop in that one cup of onion and I'm going to be adding some salt and to this one I'm going to add pepper quite a lot of pepper it's like a teaspoon there and we're going to continue cooking on this vibrant heat for another five minutes let's get those onions cooked down a little bit great stuff next up that tablespoon of ginger garlic paste which is a 50-50 mix of the two. I always say this, don't I, if you're a regular. You can buy this in every single Indian store, most Asian stores. Obviously, you can get it online, or like we do, you can make it yourself. We use loads and loads of it here. Now, let's get those two decent sized tomatoes in there try and use a nice juicy ripe tomato let's add our fresh chili and then let's get our powders in as well so let's take another look half a teaspoon turmeric two teaspoons kashmiri chili powder one teaspoon cumin one teaspoon coriander again stay on this heat we want to cook those tomatoes now want them to break down we're going to go for about six minutes maybe they might give off a little bit of moisture we're going to be adding some water to this in a moment anyway but yeah this is going to be super fab so this is looking really really good i've got some moisture for my tomatoes if you didn't don't worry because we're going to be adding water right now anyway so here we go, let's get some water in. They're going to add quite a lot of water. There's maybe like three cups of water there. And just for a few minutes, I'm going to keep it on this heat until it kind of gets nice and hot again. And once it starts to boil up a little bit, I'm going to go on a simmer, nice low simmer with a lid on for 30 minutes. In the meantime, I'm going to get some potatoes ready. You can see that's reduced down somewhat. Tomatoes are really cooked now. Okay, next up, potatoes. So I've cut my potatoes quite small for this one. I've got three cups worth here. In they go. Let's give them a little mix in there. going to turn the heat up to above medium we're going to add a little bit more water maybe just one cup there in fact that was just under a cup actually that's more like one cup and we're going to let this go now for about another five or six minutes we're still not done still a couple of more bits to go in here fabulous stuff really really lovely okay we're going to turn the heat down just above a simmer i've got one cup here of coconut milk we're going to pop that in we're going to add a little pinch or two maybe about half a teaspoon of garam masala powder which is a beautiful kind of finishing powder now we're going to let this go for maybe maybe five or six minutes what we want is those potatoes to be nice and tender so yeah about yeah probably five minutes or so give it a stir every now and then that is wonderful okay off goes the heat that is divine that is really really lovely those potatoes are nice and tender of course our lamb's going to be super now check that for salt 
you might want to add a bit more i'm good if you want a little bit of cilantro or coriander in there for me today no thanks let's get that on the plate and there you go piping hot lovely with rice or like me i prefer like a naan parata or some roti you know some bread or something really really beautiful hello how you doing today we're going to make a coconut based lamb curry indian style really delicious so i've got three tablespoons of oil in there and i'm using coconut oil we're going to add one teaspoon of cumin seeds two star anise four green cardamom and two dried red chili just gonna throw that around in this oil for about 60 to 90 seconds we're on and above medium heat so we've really just infused that oil don't ever skip this step it's really important we're now going to get our lamb now here's my lamb cut it into kind of smallish little pieces now this is like 99 percent just lamb there's a couple of few rib bones in there but it's nearly all just meat there's about three cups there in volume or about 500 grams 600 grams which is about a pound or so what we're going to do is we're going to go for seven or eight minutes stirring this and stirring it and stirring it to get it on its way Fabulous. Now, two cups of onion. I'm using red onion and I've sliced mine. Two tablespoons of ginger garlic paste, which is a 50-50 mix of the two. I'm also going to add some salt. And fresh chilies. Now, I'm going to put my hot chilies in whole. I've got here one, two, three, four, five, six. You can adjust that if you want, maybe put less. And again, if you want, you can chop them in. I just like them in like that. We're going to go for another seven or eight minutes. Again, we're going to be stirring fairly often. And we are on a fairly lively heat as well. Great stuff. So let's have a look now. Spices. We've got one teaspoon of cumin, one teaspoon of turmeric, two teaspoons of coriander, two teaspoons of chili powder. In that goes. By the way, I'm using Kashmiri chili powder. Some of you may be interested in that. We're going to give this a little mix in. Next up, we're going to be adding some coconut milk and we're going to add some water. So we're going to add 400 ml of coconut, 100 ml of water. We're then going to put this on a low heat, so not a simmer, but just above a simmer. We're going to get a lid on this and we're going to let it go for 25 to 30 minutes and we're going to stir it every now and then. If it dries out at all, you can top it up with either water or more coconut. Okay, off goes the heat. We'll take a look now. So this should have darkened very much in colour. Well, I can see that through there and it should have kind of separated out a little bit the oil yeah that's really delicious now you can go a bit more if you want but my meat's nice and tender there it's really good I've just checked it but yeah cook it a little bit more you can cook this right down and it will really become fairly oily with the coconut oil and the any any fat from the the lamb check it for salt job done delicious a really beautiful simple lovely 
delicious, fantastic, mutton or lamb curry. Lamb curry or mutton curry. I'm using leg of lamb, no bone, just all meat in there. This is absolutely delicious. It's super tender, it's spicy, it's Indian. What else can I say? So we're gonna start this one today by making a curry powder, a fresh curry powder. So I've got one teaspoon of black peppercorns, four green cardamoms, four cloves, two teaspoons coriander seeds, two teaspoons cumin seeds, and as you can see, they've got some dried red chili. One, two, three, three and a bit. What we're gonna do is get them in a dry pan, give them a little roast, grind them up. We're gonna add a couple more things to that to make our powder. So I've got a small, skillet here dry i'm going to drop all of those in we're on a below medium heat what we want to do is we just want to toss them around in there they'll start to smoke a little bit probably just going to take two minutes okay off goes the heat so it's just starting to smoke a little bit and a few little pops and crackles very simply set that aside i'll show you what to do next so there's our hot toasted seeds there. And next to that, I've got a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of turmeric. Now, if you were just making just curry powder, don't put the salt in, just put the turmeric in. But because we're gonna add this straight to our meat, you can add the salt now. What we're gonna do is get that in a grinder, grind it to a powder. Okay, so I've got a coffee grinder here. I mean, every single Indian home has got one of these, not for coffee, but for this purpose. We use it for both, obviously, here. Gonna grind that up, get it going, until it's a nice powder. Okay, and there you go. A really nice, fine, beautiful, fresh curry powder there. Delicious stuff. So in this bowl here, I've got one kg or just over two pounds of lamb. I'm using leg of lamb. There's no bone in it at all. It's all just nice meat, little bit of fat. Now the way we're gonna do this today is we're gonna be adding the curry powder now. Sometimes you'll see me cook the lamb and then add the curry powder. We're gonna do this method today. So in goes all of our curry powder. And then I've got some oil there. I'm using a sunflower oil. You could use a different oil if you want. There's a, just under half a cup there. You can see I've got a glove on. We're gonna go in and give this a little mix and then we're gonna to go to the cooker. Okay, so in there I've got a tablespoon of oil, the same oil. I mean, coconut oil would be really nice in this as well if you want to use that. We're going to drop in some curry leaves. Now, a lot of you can't get these. Um, these are fresh curry leaves. They're absolutely wonderful, got a really incredible flavor. If you can't get them fresh, try and get them dried. There is nothing else. I, you, I get lots of questions asking, is there anything to replace it? No, it, it kind of, it's a very unique flavor. If you can't get them, just skip this part. We're just gonna go, I'm just on a medium heat. We're gonna go just for a minute or so. They're really gonna infuse the oil there. We're now gonna take our lamb and it's gonna go in. Now don't have the heat up too high now, medium heat only. We wanna go for about seven or eight minutes and I'm gonna be stirring fairly often. Beautiful stuff. Now you can hear and see that we're not going crazy heat wise. What we're gonna do now is add two cups of onions, red onions sliced. And we're gonna go for about another five minutes again on this kind of fairly gentle heat. Now this is really looking like something. Really cook those onions down in this. Next up we're gonna add a tablespoon of ginger garlic paste. Ginger garlic paste is a 50-50 mix of ginger and garlic. You can buy it in many stores, depending on where you live, or like us, you can make it. Just blend it up. We add a little bit of oil to our one. Some fresh chili, the amount's up to you. I've got four kind of small red chilies there. And then we're gonna add two cups of fresh tomatoes. Try and use a nice ripe, juicy tomato if you can. And again, staying on this medium-ish heat, 
nothing too high. We're going to go for about six, six or seven minutes actually. What we want is those tomatoes to really break down. Give it a stir every now and then. So you can see that the tomatoes have broken down really nicely. Looking fabulous. Next up, we're going to add two cups of water. We're going to put that on a simmer and we're going to let it go for 15 to 20 minutes. Give it a stir every now and then. We're nearly there. Delicious. Okay, so that kind of 15 minutes or so just ensures that the meat's going to be really tender. I've now turned the heat up to maximum, really high now, and we're going to go for about four to five minutes. It's going to evaporate out, thicken up, and you can just kind of stop where you like. I mean, you could eat it like this if you want, but I just want to kind of get a kind of bit of thickness on it. Okay, off goes the heat. That's like four or five minutes. It's thickened up there nicely. I mean, you can go a bit more if you want, but that's a great consistency for me. Two more things. We're going to add now a nice pinch of garam masala powder or two. Garam masala powder is like a finishing spice. That's the stuff there, it's a blend of different things. And then we're gonna go for some fresh cilantro coriander, maybe about half a cup, in that goes. Give that a mix, check it for salt, it's great for me. That is an absolute beauty. So with rice or with roti or chapati or parata, some bread, that is delicious. It's super tender. Yeah, a bit spicy, delicious stuff. So we're gonna make this absolutely wonderful lamb curry today. Uh, tari wala. So tari basically means gravy, roughly translated. So it's quite wet, it's quite sort of soupy, you know. It's delicious with bread, not with rice, this one. So get yourself some chapati or roti or something like that, you know really really excellent i love it okay so here we go here i've got some lamb i'm using leg of lamb there so there's a bit of bone in there a nice bit of fat there is just under one kg so like two pound of meat there two cups of tomatoes i've cut them nice and small always try and use a nice juicy tomato for any type of curry you're making one cup of onion here i've got a hundred grams of tomato paste 100 grams is one of those small little tetra pack kind of things, you get them at 100 grams, 135 grams, like that. Okay, I've got a tablespoon of peppercorns. I've got some bay leaf there. They're kind of broken up. That's maybe one or two bay. A Little bit of cinnamon, two black cardamons, and three green. One tablespoon of ginger garlic paste. And then our powders are half a teaspoon of turmeric, one teaspoon of garam masala powder, and then two teaspoons each of coriander and chili powder. I'm using Kashmiri chili powder for this. We're also gonna add some potatoes, but I'm not gonna show you them now because I don't want them to discolor. I'll cut them and show, show them to you just a little bit later. Let's get moving. So you're gonna need a big pot, pan, or like me, this kind of woki type thing. In there, I've got three tablespoons of oil. I'm using a sunflower oil. You could use a different oil if you want. The heat is on, we're on medium. We're gonna go in with the peppercorns the bay, cinnamon, and then the black and the green cardamons. Now, my black cardamons are slightly opened already. You can pop them open if you want, or just put them in whole, entirely up to you. Just a few seconds, let them do their thing in this oil. They're gonna infuse that oil, give it a lovely flavor. You could be adding also some dried red chilies if you wanted to. We're now going to drop in that one cup of onion. I'm using red onion, but if you wanted white onion would also work really nicely with this. So we're going to go for about five or six minutes. Now, if you're a regular to the show, you're going to see me normally cook these maybe for three minutes. But for this one, we really do need to cook the onions until they change color, which is going to really help with the beautiful gravy that we're making. Some people would get these even browner than that, but I'm happy just there. We're now gonna add in that one tablespoon of ginger garlic paste. 
ginger garlic paste, as I'm sure if you're a regular, you've heard me say it a trillion times, is a 50-50 mix of the two. You can buy it in stores or like me, because we use so much, you can make it yourself. Let's add some salt. And then we're gonna add two cups of tomato. Now what we wanna do is go for about another five or six minutes because we want those tomatoes to really break down. They may even give off a nice bit of moisture. So you can see that the tomatoes are breaking down really nicely. Beautiful stuff. We're now gonna add in the tomato paste. So it's about two heaped tablespoons, I suppose there. To that we're going to add our powders, let's just take one more look, half teaspoon turmeric, one teaspoon garam masala powder, two teaspoons chili powder, which I'm using Kashmiri, which has got a nice colour on it, and coriander. I'm just going to cook this out for a little bit, so about another three minutes or so, keep it moving pretty much all the time now. Beautiful, really beautiful. Okay, now we're gonna add in the lamb or mutton. A few little bones in there, a little bit of fat, which I think is fantastic. Stay on this medium heat. We're gonna go for five minutes. Just wanna kind of get a little bit of color onto the lamb. So of course, absolutely nowhere near cooked, but we have got just a little bit of color onto that lamb. Next up, we're gonna add water, and we're gonna add quite a lot of water. There's maybe two or three pints there. Now you can get a lid on this, turn the heat up to high. I want that to go for about 30 to 40 minutes. Get a lid on it, 30, 40 minutes, give it a stir every now and then. Okay, that's looking really beautiful. It's reduced down a little bit as it's cooked, but really given the mutton or lamb, plenty of time to get nice and tender. Okay, potato time. So there we go. Cut it into sort of bite-sized pieces. Got about three cups worth there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add some more water. It's quite watery this one, it's, it's about... It's all about the gravy. So I'm going to go medium heat now and I'm going to cook this until the potatoes are done, which might be eight or nine minutes. Okay, off goes the heat. Check the salt level on that. It's going to be fine for me. But yeah, we want lots and lots of gravy. Beautiful. And there you go, really lovely. If you want, get some cilantro coriander on the top. I'm gonna to have it just like that. Now, really good with bread, not rice this one. So yeah, with some sort of naan, chapati, paratha, fantastic dip in there, excellent stuff. All right, how are you doing? Look, today we're gonna to make this lamb curry. It really, really is quite simple and it is totally, totally delicious. Okay, we're going to go straight in on this one. I'll explain everything as we go along. I'm using coconut oil. A couple of tablespoons there. Going to melt that down. You can use a different oil if you want. Medium heat, back in a moment. So that's just melting down now. And we're going to start off with two teaspoons of cumin seeds that we're going to just drop in there. And just for a few seconds, we're going to let them do their thing. And then let's just take a look at our meat. So... I've got here about 600 grams or just over a pound of lamb. There's a bit of fat on it. There's no bone in it, but it is a nice kind of decent lamb. So in all that goes. At this stage, I'm just gonna add some salt. Medium heat, we're gonna go for five or six minutes. We're gonna be stirring often. So different colour on there now, 
not cooked obviously. We're now going to go with a cup of onion. We're going to cook this for four minutes. So those onions are cooking down nicely. Next up we're going to add ginger garlic paste. We're going to add two tablespoons of that. That's a 50-50 mix of garlic and ginger. I'm also going to add fresh chili now. Now I'm putting in quite a lot of chili and I'm just putting them in whole. Chop them if you want. The amount's entirely up to you. Two minutes, stir in all the time please. Marvellous stuff. Okay, we're now going to add two cups of fresh tomatoes. Cut them nice and small. Try and use a nice juicy tomato if you can. And to that we're going to add two teaspoons each of chilli powder, turmeric, cumin and coriander powder. If you want you could use a curry powder that you already have. But I think this is way, way better to use the spices like that. About five minutes, what we're looking for is some moisture to be coming out of those tomatoes. If not, we're going to be adding some liquid anyway, but that's what we want to do. Cook these tomatoes down. So you can see that I've done really well regarding liquid from those tomatoes. If you didn't, don't worry. What's important is to actually break them down, cook them down. We're going to be adding some more liquid now. So I'm going to add some more water. to it there, so like a glass like that. We're now going to turn it down, to not to a simmer, but above a simmer. We'll let it go now for about 10 or 15 minutes. If it dries out too much, just put a little splash in. But for my quality of lamb or mutton that I'm using, I'm going to need about 15 minutes, I reckon, here. Give it a stir every now and then. All right, that's been going like 15 minutes or so. Now look, depending on the quality of your meat, Depends on how long you're going to cook it for. You might want to be adding some more water back in there and doing that again. So check your meat now. If it's tender, we can move on. If it's not tender, go again. What we're going to do now is turn the heat up high. As you can see, this is quite watery. We're going to go for like five minutes on a high heat. It's going to evaporate out and become a beautiful, beautiful masala. But only do this once your meat is tender. Okay, now we're talking. Now it's looking beautiful. Off goes the heat. You can see it's reduced down and we've got a really beautiful masala there with lovely tender lamb in there or mutton, whatever you want to call that. Cilantro or coriander. Again, some of you call it one, some of you call it the other. Garam masala powder. Garam masala powder, nice little pinch or two is a beautiful blend finishing spice check that for salt for me it's going to be great little mix that is good now that is outstanding that's as near as perfect as you're going to get it i reckon that is beautiful keep safe keep well i'll see you soon lots of love Thank you so much for stopping by and making it to the end of the videos. If you would like to donate to me, there's a thanks button in most countries. You can give me $2 or up to $50. I need to buy a new Ferrari. Come on, help me out.